Cartrack commenced operations in 2004. We currently uh, in 24 countries worldwide with a subscriber base in excess of 600,000 um, clients. Our client base is very diverse, uh, ranging from individual clients to corporate clients to insurance companies, vehicle dealership, as well as a lot of vehicle rental companies. The, the majority of these clients still use our two main products, the, the old or original stolen vehicle recovery product, as well as the more recent uh, fleet product, where we enable our clients to trace or track their assets either online or via our app. Cartrack mainly operates uh, in Southern Africa. We also have uh, operations in uh, Nigeria, Kenya, Tanzania. Most of these operations are either directly owned or franchise operations. The main reason why we've decided to, to go into Southern Africa is because a lot of our clients do cross-border um, fleet operations. Uh, so these operations enable us to service and support these clients as they move their assets throughout Southern Africa. It also assists us when we have to recover stolen vehicles as uh, there's a tendency for these vehicles to, to move cross-border once uh, stolen. Telematics in Africa, I don't think has got challenges that's unique only to Africa. Most of the challenges that we face is normally coverage. From a client perspective, I think a lot of challenges they face as they travel into Africa, these are mainly um, issues with regards to waiting time at borders, as well as um, issues with road infrastructure. Cartrack's very proud of our training. We, we decided from day one to bring training in-house. So we've, we've basically got two training divisions, the one being the internal staff training. So all new staff will go through this training uh, from day one. And then there's ongoing training either via refresher courses or online um, web-based applications. And then we also have an uh, external training department that we refer to as a fleet training department. Now this department service clients. So the main aim of this fleet training department is to service fleet customers. From day one, when we sign these clients on, we, we send this fleet training department out to them to, to assist them and set them up and to provide them with the necessary training to enable them to, to look after or use our product independently. The, the training department is then also available thereafter for client queries, etc., to ensure that clients are fully able to use our product themselves and then does not rely on us, on us to, you know, to run the product. So we, we like to enable the client to, to make the product their own, if I can say it like that. Car tracks, it's another thing that we decided to do from day one. Most of our development as well as manufacturing is done in-house. So in our Joburg offices, we, we have an in-house R&D department that does all our development and research. And then we also have an in-house manufacturing department. So the manufacturing department will order parts in from the, across the world and we'll assemble them all in Johannesburg and then ship them from South Africa to the rest of the, our operations globally. With regards to new products, um, I think our product list is is very long at the moment. I'll just highlight two of them. The first one being Car Watch, which we'll probably launch in the near future. Now this product will enable uh, a user to do what we refer to as a geofence, um, put it around their vehicle when they park it, for example, at a shopping center. Should this vehicle then move, the user, as well as our control room, will get a SMS to tell us or inform us that the vehicle's moved, and this will enable us to recover the, the vehicle sooner. I think before, what normally would have happened was as you, for example, left the, the, the shopping center an hour later or so, you would only realize your vehicle was stolen. Um, and this new feature will enable the user to sort of realize it um, real time. Then lastly, if I can just mention our fleet product, we're also continuously looking to improve it, make it more user friendly, as well as um, add new, uh, new features to it. You know, just to ensure that the product is um, world-class um, and continue to be world-leading.